Hey, how's it going everyone? Nick Sapinaro here from the Divi offices to give you your development update. First off, I want to start by saying it's really good to be back and I want to thank all of our supporters that have really stuck by us during the delays over the past month. You know, your positive attitude and long-term outlook really help us to stick with it and really work harder. We're not just another fork. We're really creating an entire fully fledged cryptocurrency ecosystem that's supposed to be easier to use and ready for everyday use for people that haven't even heard of cryptocurrency. That's a really difficult task and I really once again just want to say how much we really appreciate you sticking with us while we deliver on that goal. So moving into the development update. First of all, as many of you know, we're working on some very important security features that will be incorporated into our desktop smart wallet. First of all, the lock, unlock, and encrypt wallet features have been delivered to the beta testers and they've been working on those for about a week now. Seems like it's going really well and at the moment we're just polishing up the UX for those features so we can deliver them in a new build. Moving forward, we'll add the security hygiene on startup to the wallet as well as recovery uh, that will be incorporated using a mnemonic phrase or password. So that'll be delivered again in the next couple of weeks. So as far as the blockchain goes, we are working on some of the features, including the Mochi, which is the master one-click cloud installer, as well as continued testing on some of the features like staking and lottery blocks. Seems like the staking is working really well through the command line. Some issues in the GUI displaying the wrong amounts, so we're working that out as we speak. Um, we have found a couple bugs in the blockchain, including this weird bug where transactions are only visible to the counterparties that sent it. So for example, if I send uh, Frisco a, a transaction, only he and I can see the details. So that's why they're not showing up on like DiviScan.io, for example, or to any other node in the network. So we're working on that issue as we speak. Um, dynamic IPs, seems like there's some weird issues when you're using a VPN. So we're working on that. And the last blockchain bug that we're working out is the masternode funding allocation. Uh, it seems like there's a, an error when you try to actually allocate the funds. Now, some of these issues were working in previous builds, so they shouldn't be too difficult to fix moving forward. So you can also check GitHub, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. You can check the GitHub issues page. It's about 30 open issues right now. Some are breaking issues, some are just enhancements. Um, so you can always check that and follow our progress there. In other development news, we are building our own development team in Lithuania. As some of you know, Michael Greenwood, one of our founders, was in Lithuania last month where he struck a really good relationship with the blockchain center out there. And so we're moving forward with that, building a team of about 8 to 10 developers that will be covering blockchain, web development, and of course the wallet as well. In an effort to deliver increased transparency into our development process and our business development process, I built a web page called ama.diviproject.org. The link is in the description. If you head over there, you can ask any question you want and it'll display right on the page. Once a month, I'm gonna take all of those questions and do a video update answering all of them. So please don't be afraid to ask the very hard questions. I know we're getting a lot of them on Telegram, Discord, Reddit, etc. This is a way to put them all into one place and answer them publicly all at once. So, like I said, head over to ama.diviproject.org and get your questions in now. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the desktop wallet is coming along. So as you can see, when you open up the wallet, this screen will appear and you can create a new wallet and it'll actually have you encrypt the wallet right away. I'm just going to make a simple password. It takes a second, it'll spin, and when it's ready, it will restart the daemon for you in the background and you will be fully encrypted and locked automatically. So just give us a second here. So as you can see, wallet encrypted, daemon stops and it will restart in just a second. Boom. We are fully encrypted. My wallet's going to sync up here with the network. Okay, so now that we're fully synced and fully online, you can see up here that we've added this locked icon. If you click that, you can actually unlock the wallet. And you can see in the left-hand corner here, it does go unlocked. Now you'll notice that the panel here doesn't close automatically, so that's something I'll be working on here in the next week to make sure that it does in fact go away, that modal, once you actually unlock the wallet, uh, just to avoid confusion. And then of course you can lock the wallet again. Now I wanted to show you guys as well the settings pane. The settings has been overhauled completely. Um, it looks a lot nicer already. 
We're still going to make some improvements. You can see here, you can encrypt the wallet, which it already is. Uh, you can lock or unlock the wallet. You have some uh, startup options here. You can go over to the network tab, easily switch to the test net or main net. And then also uh, we'll be able to show your Divi balances in USD or Divi. We'll be adding all of the currencies of the world as we move forward. And you can even change your notification settings. So when you get a new Divi or if you win a lottery block, etc., that will all be modifiable. So as you can see, you know, we're not just adding a button and shoving stuff out. We're actually going in and trying to make the user experience a lot better for even beginner users. So that's really it for this update. I know it was a little bit longer of an update, but we've been out for a couple weeks, so wanted to give you as much as possible. As always, if you have any questions, you can always find us on Telegram, Reddit, Twitter, etc. And until next week, I'm Nick Sapinero. See you soon.